Hi, Mountie here. I have another junk journal to show you. Uh, this one I made out of a macaroni and cheese box. I recycle almost every food box we have in our house. I usually make them into paper beads or tags or like this junk journal. The cover of this macaroni and cheese box, I painted it with flag red craft paint and apricot craft paint. I stenciled around on it a bit and I put this sticker on here and the word sister because it is for my sister. This little um, junk journal, the, term, the size is determined of course by the size of the macaroni and cheese box. And this box measures three and a half inches wide and seven inches long. And this spine is a half inch wide. I took some craft tape and put it on the back of the spine to help reinforce the spine. And I did an exposed stitch binding with uh, Baker's Twine. Okay, it has three signatures with 45 pages, seven pockets and tags. I didn't embellish it. I didn't embellish it very much. I did add a bit of washi tape here and there and stamped a bit on on some of the pages. I do like to kind of leave junk journals blank so that whoever receives it can put whatever they like in it. So let's let's have a look at it. <clears throat> Inside here on the cover, I used my envelope punch board and made a small envelope. and it has one of my jelly prints as the tag and the envelope is made out of one of my drop papers. This first page is a jelly print that I added a bit of, of glitter to. Then there's a blank page, another blank page, another blank page, a dictionary page with my hand carved fish stamp. This pocket here is an envelope that was, had one of our bills in it. I stenciled it a bit, and the tag is a freebie from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Just another blank sheet. And this is the back of my envelope that I stenciled on, and another tag from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. This is a dictionary page that I just put a sticker on, maybe she can journal there or add a photo there, whatever, whatever she likes. Just another couple of blank pages here. And the back of the jelly print. The second signature, the cover of the second signature is made out of a piece of scrapbook paper that I just put a piece of washi tape down the side of it to embellish it a bit. Starting out with a blank page, just a piece of uh, ephemera. I had some junk mail or something, and I made a pocket out of Ephemera's Vintage Garden, one of her freebies, and the insert for the pocket, or the tag, is half of a bingo card. There's the back, and I stamped it with my little sunshine hand, scar hand carved stamp. This is just a calendar page, a blank page. This page is, we went on vacation a couple of weeks ago and this is just one of the pamphlets I picked up at one of the tourist spots and I turned it into a journal page. I used the other half of the bingo card for the pocket and this is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera as the tag. It's right in there. In the middle here, I have one of my Zentangles that I watercolored over, and it says, Every possibility be begins, I'm sorry, every possibility begins with courage. And I did watercolor over the Zentangle, and I Zentangled on an index card. I almost always Zentangle on index cards. This is the back of the travel brochure, <clears throat> just a plain piece of paper. Just another piece of ephemera, a blank page, and the back, the back of the piece of scrapbook paper. This signature starts with an ad from a paint, 
paint company because it has paint swatches on this side. For the tag, I used a, a I cut out this little bird from a calendar. I thought it was so cute. And I just made my tag using my envelope punch board to make the, the corners of the tag. And then I just stamped it with this heart and crown. Then I have a blank page, a map page, just a blank page, a blank page. This is uh, one of Seven Gypsies' smaller file folder pages. I did have to cut it down to fit in the journal, otherwise it would have stuck out too far. This is another travel brochure that I just put a bit of washi tape on. This is a piece of junk mail here, and I glued a napkin onto the junk mail. A pretty little napkin. I like that. And then the back is blank, and this is part of the travel brochure, and the other half of the file folder. Another blank page, another blank page piece of map, a blank page, and the back of the paint advertisement. And on the back page I made another little pocket out of part of an envelope I had left, put a little washi tape on it, and the tag is uh, a freebie from Ephemer's Vintage Garden. And the back of the journal is just painted and stenciled also. And I stamped it with my um, with my fish hand cards hand carved stamp and my son hand carved stamp. So I think it's a fun little journal, and I'm sure my sister will enjoy it. And I hope she finds a use for it. Thanks for watching. Bye.